Hi, my name is JR Tallman, and in this NetSuite tutorial, I'm going to go through how to enter your opening prepaids or amortization schedules within NetSuite. The first thing we'll want to do is ensure that we have an amortization template set up and configured along with the deferral or prepaid account for all of our in-flight amortization schedules. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to navigate to List, Accounting, and Amortization Templates to ensure that I have a correct template that I will be using for my in-flight prepaids. So you can see here, I have a straight line exact days amortization template. And if I go into this, the key here is gonna be my deferral account or my prepaid account is set to default. What this means is it's gonna go off of the actual expense account from my chart of accounts and use that deferral account that's set there. So to see how this looks on my expense account, I'm gonna to navigate to my chart of accounts underneath list accounting and accounts. I'm gonna to go to one of my expense accounts that I'm gonna be using in my in-flight amortization journal entry template, which we'll get to in just a moment. So in this case, I'm gonna to go to my insurance expense. I'm gonna edit this insurance expense account. And once I get onto the account record itself, you're gonna see this deferral account is set with my 9,000 deferred expense. Now this would be your prepaid account that you select, and this does need to be a prepaid account within NetSuite. So now that this is set and I have my amortization template properly configured, the next thing we're gonna do is create a journal entry to schedule our in-flight amortization. To do this, I'm gonna to go to Transactions, Financial, and Make Journal Entries. Now, if you do have multi-book, you're gonna to wanna to make a book-specific journal entry, but in my case, I do not have multi-book enabled, so I'm gonna simply click on Make Journal Entries. And as I'm going through this process, you can certainly configure this to be in an import template to upload, but I'm gonna show you how this is, looks on the screen, and we can take a look at the amortization schedule that has been configured once I save this. So as part of this, I'm gonna go ahead and select my subsidiary. Go ahead and feel free to en enter any additional information up here as part of a memo to make sure that this is your opening balances for prepaids. However, do note that this is gonna have no GL impact. This is simply just gonna establish our amortization schedules for out in the future to amortize in future periods. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select an account. Now the debit on this account is gonna be our insurance expense. So in my example, this was gonna be 6,000 insurance expense. And I'll go ahead and put the remaining amount to be amortized for this particular schedule. So in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a generic value here. Feel free to give this a memo if you desire. And then on this debit line, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put the actual vendor or particular name that this is associated with for reporting purposes. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and select my test of vendor from this dropdown. You can go ahead and give this a department class and location if you do have segments enabled, but that's not required in my environment. And then the key here is going to be uh, on the debit line is we're going to put that amortization template that we just took a look at. So I'm going to select the straight line exact days. And then you're going to want to put the start date of when you're going to start this. So if you're going live, let's say May 1st of 2025, you're going to go to put May 1st here. And then the end date is going to be the remaining life for this amortization schedule. So if the end date is at the end of the year, I can go ahead and put the end of the year. All right. Again, this is going to have no GL impact once I save. It's just going to simply schedule this $1,250 out with this particular start and end date. So I'm going to go ahead and add that for the debit, and then my credit line is going to be my other side of the entry, which is going to be my prepaid account that was set on that insurance expense, which is going to be my 9000 deferred expense account, and I'm going to have the same credit. Now on this line, I'm not going to have a name, schedule, start and end date. If you do want to go ahead and put a department class and location, feel free to, and I'm going to simply add this. So you would go ahead and do this for all of your prepaids that you have in flight. You would have two lines for each of the different vendors that you have set up in the system that you have a unique start and end date. So as you can see here, I do have two different accounts, but when I save this, NetSuite is smart enough to know this has an amortization template associated with it with a start and end date. And this insurance expense is simply gonna go to deferred expense when I save this. And I should have a schedule be created for the remaining life of this value. So let's go ahead and save this journal entry. All right, the journal entry has been successfully saved, as you can see in the top ribbon here. And then down below here, the deferred expense is on both my debit and credit. This is my GL impact, so there's no GL impact because it's simply in, in and out. And then you can see here my template turned into a schedule, so I can go ahead and take a look at the schedule number four, and it should set up my schedule for my remaining in-flight prepaid. 
can see this is going to be hitting my insurance expense straight line using exact days based on my value that I set in here. And this will be showing up then in my amortization forecast underneath reports, financial, and amortization forecast. So if you go to the amortization forecast, I would see this scheduled for my prepaids out in the future. And then once I recognize this, you can also see this here because the forecast does show both what's been recognized and what is future forecasting in the system. Then lastly, if you want to recognize this, this goes through the same amortization journal entry procedure as part of the month end process underneath transactions, financial, create amortization journal entries. You would see these journal entries show up there based on the posting period that's selected on the screen. This concludes on how to enter open end flight amortization or prepaids in NetSuite. Please like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.